Hello everybody, today I'm going to be using some of the dies from babycraft.com. I have my cutting machine here just so I can show you how they work. I have my plates, I have all of my plates including the metal plate in here. I'm not sure exactly that I will need that for this particular die because I'm doing it on quite a thick card stock. I'm going to try and put a hole in the middle of this card. Um, and I've taped it in place because I want to make sure that I get it exact. So I'm just going to put my plates down. And run it through and hope it works. If it doesn't, I will use the metal plate as well. run it through a couple of times because it is a thin die. Let's see how that went. Hopefully it cut. But if it didn't, then I will put my metal plate in. Uh, okay, I might put the metal plate in. And this will make it a little bit tougher to get through the machine, but it will definitely cut. Like I said, this is a, a thick card. So using my muscles, I will run that through again. And that should work fine. So that looks like it has cut all the way through and embossed all the way through. So let's just remove our, our washi tape. Okay, so there is there's a card I can make using the outside shape of the die and this is the die itself and I have a little this is the most intricate die I have found to release out of all the dies that I was um, sent this is the one that sticks a little bit but that's only because this is thick cardstock like I said and it's an intricate die so I'm going to carefully uh, what we got here I don't know if that will work I just want to get under there to release it because I don't want to break those little I don't want to break the little bits at the end here. See how, how there we go. See, it's because this is a thick card stock. I have done it on a finer paper and it came away very easily. And also, this card stock has a slight sheen to it, and I think everything, all papers and things react differently don't they just don't want to snap all those little bits there we go so, whoops so it does come away very easily Let's see I don't want to there we go yeah and it's a beautiful die look at that isn't that just beautiful see how the cardstock's got a slight sheen and it does make it stick a little bit but how beautiful is that that's really lovely and that can go on the front of a card a cardstock card or something like that isn't that effective um, so that does work and the only thing with this one is I'm going to have to go and get all those little bits out because it has very few holes on the back to run the roller through so I will do that later it's a little bit time consuming but just let me show you how these other dies work I'll just get some 
This is just some cardstock from an old photo album I found at the thrift store. But I do want to show you how well these dies work. And like I said, they're quite thin, the dies, so I'm going to use the metal plate with it. easily that releases and then I can just go like this on the back of my die and all the bits come out very easily but I do need to mention um, Always one stub on one, isn't there? I do need to mention that I have gone over the dies with some wax paper like that, and that just helps that just helps all the dies to release very easily. And if I just go like this, all those little bits will come out no problem at all. And that little last one, this one here, they are all love hearts inside of that. So if you were into making shakers and things like that, you could save those little love hearts and use them in your shakers as well.
Okay, so that's all the dies. All cut out beautifully. There's another one there. And that gorgeous one. Did I show you that one already? I thought I did. That one there as well. Okay, so that's the beautiful die set from bbcraft.com. And I will put a link to that in the description box below. And just let me show you quickly what you can do with things like that. Just a couple of ideas. Okay, we saw this one. I have a card started here that has this one here, the last one we cut out, but I left the centre of that blank. I have a card, I'm going to put it on the front of there like that. And this is actually like a sponge, it's a glittered sponge that I found thrifting probably two or so years ago. Then I'm going to put this beautiful die here in it, maybe like that. And then I've got one of the lovely cabochons here. I'm not putting the dome over it, I've just cut a little bit of that glittered foam out and cut the ring off the top and I am going to put that in the centre for an elegant Christmas card. So that's one way to use these beautiful dies. Very simple, elegant Christmas card. Another Christmas card I got here, and this is also very simple, would be a craft paper card. One of the beautiful doilies, that happens to be the snowflake doily there, but you could just as easily use a love heart or, or this beautiful one here or even this one because the craft paper, oh it just fits on that one, the craft paper actually just shows it off beautifully. I printed the words Merry Christmas out, I could put that across there. I could put that up like that. I would ink it up a little bit, I think. could put it down the bottom like that or just leave it the way it is or maybe perhaps, like I did over there, add another one, a contrasting one to the centre as well. Okay, so that's another card. Another way to use your dies is to... Well, this one. This is that beautiful snowflake here. You can make an ornament with it. I've just cut four of those out and I've positioned them. I've I've cut four out. I have, that's the front of it, so I've folded it in on itself and made a very crisp crease down there. And I did it over the side of my desk because the other desk has a very sharp edge on it so I could do that and then I've glued them all together to make a dimensional um, ornament and on one of them I've stuck the beautiful stickers crystal stickers from BB craft to get an idea of what that might look like I, I like it plain but you could always put the beautiful crystals on it as well. And then all you need to do is get some thread and very easily you can thread it through there and you could make a hanger. Or you could, you know, pierce it and put a jump ring and make a proper hanger on it as well. So that's another way to use your die cut. And also, here we go, you can use your die cuts also in your packaging. This is just a brown paper package 
I've cut out one of the beautiful snowflakes. I've intertwined some lovely baker's twine in it. And I could just put one of these stickers in the centre of that. Um, Hazel sent me these quite a while ago. So let's open it. These are stickers, and I could just take that off like that and put that in the center. And you have a really cute little package there to send to somebody, so that's another way you could do it. On your brown paper gift bags, it's just a flat bat, flat bottomed gusseted um, craft bag. I've put two little holes through the top of that. I put one of my doilies over it like that and all I've done now is I've got, where did I put it? Oh here it is. I have one of the lovely stick pins or coat pins from BB Craft and I've just decorated it up. I've concertinaed a little bit of tea dyed paper, put some tinsel and seam binding on it. Take the cap off, see where my little hole is there, I can put that through, I can thread it back through the other side, oops I've lost where the hole was, there's the hole there, back through the other side, and then put the lovely little cap on which I love having the caps for them. And this one doesn't have a hole. Some of them actually have a little hole at the other end too. This one doesn't. Um, and then you've got a nice little gift bag with a topper on it and it's secure so nothing's going to fall out. Another way to use your doily dies. Okay, so that's another way there. And I think... So I think that was it. We have packaging that we can do. We have cards that we can make. We have ornaments that we can put together. So all in all, you know, you can actually, and you can do so much more with dyes. Like I said, I am only new to this myself. So there we go. That's what I've come up with <laughs> for these. Okay, let's move on to the next things.